right, here we go. Let's try to get one more for the boys. No boost, no boost, boost. What is up everybody? Welcome to another video. Uh, today we are starting in the Z and it's pouring but that ain't gonna stop the installs from coming. Today we're gonna be installing the 300ZX intake and actually I bought one from what's that place called? Z1 Motorsports. I bought their intake. We're gonna install it today but we're gonna do a little kind of before and after I guess of how the car sounds without it first and then with it. So this is cruising at like 3K RPMs, you know, give it a little gas. Not much of anything going on. Obviously we don't have an exhaust on either, so there's no sound coming out from back there. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Michael please. But, that will soon change, hopefully in the next, eh, I wanna say a week or two. We're gonna do a little like eh, zero to 60 test. See if we can hear anything from the intake. Obviously stock intake is gonna be as quiet as possible, but here we go. Oh, -ho! when that boost kicks in, that tail goes out. There you have it. Nothing but sounds coming out of the engine. That's pretty much it. We didn't hear no intake, no forced induction sounds. But I think hopefully with the intake we could change that a little bit. Here we go again. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. This rain obviously isn't helping our traction one bit. <laughs> That's crazy. Obviously you guys can see the there's a lot of turbo lag, but once that turbo kicks in, it just blows the tires off. Here you go, let's try this again. <laughs> that is too fun but as soon as the boost kicks in it's gone right there look. no boost no boost no boost boost tires are gone <laughs> all right let's head back home and get this install going and we are back home as you guys can see but we're back to the install now we got a box over there let's go ahead and get it unboxed all right so let's go ahead and check out what we have oh, a blanket that's a lot of packaging boom don't need that all right so in the box we just had two other boxes and it seems like a pretty easy setup all we have here is a cone filter yeah, that's a massive cone filter. Nice and blue with the clamp at the back. And in this other box, we just have the adapter piece that goes to the math sensor. Here it is. So this goes to the filter. This goes to the sensor. Boom. Easy peasy. Bam and squeezy. So, in order to take this off, there's four bolts. I already took them off. One, two, three, four. This nose panel comes off. Oh! Put that to the side. And we have our air box. So air box here, MAF sensor, and this like T-pipe. So to take the air box off, bolt there, bolt there, and bolt here. And then these clamps. So we'll take this top piece off first. Now, another thing to make this easier 
is loosen up all these clamps so you got one two and three loosen those up that way it gives you more slack to be able to pull this whole piece off so i'm gonna pull this off first and then we'll go from there now that we have the top piece off we can go ahead and disconnect the math sensors just four screws one two three and four and then this whole section comes off so we'll go ahead and do that now that disconnected this whole piece is now completely off and useless so put that to the side now we still got this whole bottom section to worry about and from here we got our air filter and our air filter obviously we're going to save this whole setup for later just in case we need to go back to stock to take this bottom piece out there's two bolts on top right here i already took them off so there's those and then there's two hidden ones like back here somewhere you guys can see where i have this little ratchet wrench there's one on this side and then there's one on this side and then hopefully this whole bottom piece comes off and here's the bottom part of the air box so get this out i did end up removing this t-hose from here just because it was kind of getting in the way a little bit but i took it off took this off now there was also a screw right here and right here attached to the bottom of the air box so make sure to take that off too i was off. obviously i was wrestling with it so i kind of ripped it here but no big deal it's just kind of like a little guard because from here it's nothing but straight air straight into the intake so hopefully get some cold air i don't know where these tubes go to honestly now i went ahead and put the tea back on and i left it loose on the clamps just in case we got to wiggle it around make sure we got a good fitment but now we're gonna go ahead and install our math sensor back in here and then we'll get our air filter attached to that what i've done first is i installed the bracket plate into the or the what is it called the velocity stack into the air filter it's out first and now i'm going to attach it like that so it looks like it might take a little while to wiggle it in there but i'm pretty sure we can get it in so here we go And five minutes later, there we go. We got our intake installed and we got all our clamps nice and tight. What I did try to do was kind of angle it down a little bit more because it was hitting this metal piece here. So just whenever you're installing this, make sure you angle it as low as possible. That way it doesn't keep hitting this metal piece here. But apart from that, it's not going anywhere, I think. And I think we're ready to go here. We're just gonna go ahead and put our nose panel back on and then we'll go for a test drive. All right, we're finally to the spot. Now, if you guys remember, we were having traction issues before. Now that it's raining even worse, uh, it's probably gonna get worse, but here we go. Oh, damn. <laughs> like I said, it's gonna get worse. Now, I didn't hear anything, like, coming from the intake, so let's just go ahead and cruise and see if we hear anything up top, because down low we couldn't really hear nothing, and the rain is kind of like hitting, so that kind of gets in the way too, but here we go. I don't see a difference it does seem to boost up a little quicker but nothing too crazy all right here we go no boost no boost no boost boost I'm gonna lie, that is pretty quick. 
I do kind of get a little more uh, turbo spool than before. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. All right, here we go. Let's try to get one more for the boys. No boost, no boost, boost. Oh, kind of hooked on that one. Oh, damn. That wasn't even full throttle. Woo! Slipping and sliding all the way. <laughs> this thing's too much fun. Now, something that I have noticed is that it boosts up a little bit higher. The only thing that's changed is the intake. So I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it. It does seem to boost a little higher. We might have to go and get ourselves a boost controller just so we can keep track of that. All right, one more, one more time. I know I keep saying it, but this will be the last one. This is too fun. All right, I'll see you guys back home. Uh, <laughs> that was a pretty crazy ride, not gonna lie. Super impressed by what's going on. Uh, lots of mods coming still. Like I said, we gotta fix that exhaust issue. It's too quiet, it's just too quiet. So we gotta get that figured out. I still don't know what exhaust I'm gonna go with, but um, I don't know. Honestly, leave your recommendations down below what exhaust I should be running. There is a couple good ones that I'm looking at. Probably the HKS or the Z1, whatever one they have. That one seems to sound pretty good. But, like I said, I don't know what I'm going with. Uh, so far, car is doing pretty damn good. Obviously, we had a lot of fun today. Slipping and sliding. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And always keep improving.